Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. Bit of a different one today. We've got the lowest tide of the year. Got some of us. Hell yeah. Gonna go out, find some augers or shankers, lobsters, anything we can forage. This is just gonna be an all out coastal foraging trip. So once we finish our coffee, we're gonna get on it. Hopefully we get a few, eh, dude? Fingers crossed we do. We're praying for a nice lobster. So fingers crossed, guys, it's Smash Fishing. We're going to go out to the crab pot and uh, pull that. We've had a week of bad weather, sort of force eight winds, stuff like that, eh, mate? Yeah, it'd be nice to see it in one piece still. That's exactly it, mate. So we've got some rope with us just in case it is a bit battered up. But they're usually built quite strong. So I look like a bit of an idiot if it's broken up. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. I'm praying for it to be still alive. Point one. So we're going to get all to the lobster holes. The tide is absolutely whipping out, eh, Sam? Yeah, it's going out quick. Bloody right, mate. Sam rocking the merch. <laughs> Smash fishing, baby. We're excited for this, guys. Later on in the video, we're going to go out for some razor clams, some uh, cockles and stuff as well. So this is basically just an all-out coastal foraging sash, baby. Got the homemade orma hook or lobster hook. And I've just put a new gauge on there with the uh, shanker and lady crab size limit. So there's lobster, orma, shanker and lady crab. These coastal foraging trips are definitely becoming a bit of a passion. Been studying seaweeds lately as well. So we might pick some of that up later. Just making our way to the crab pot at the moment. We hid it in the most horrible place ever. To get to but it's worth it hopefully nothing's tangled by the looks of it oh it is a little bit yeah. oh it's coming oh come on please don't be broken oh, some shankers and a lady crab and the pot's still in one piece Hell yeah, check that out guys. No damage whatsoever. We got There's no lobsters, but we've got to keep a lady crab. And we're gonna get these shankers out and get you a better show. Hell yeah, we're buzzing baby. Got our measure. And look at that, perfectly in. That's going in the cook pot. Hell yeah. There's some brown crab, shanker or edible crab. Too small. Give that one a go. Nah, it's well small then. Get out of it. Right, we're gonna get this emptied, get it baited up, guys. Get it back out. Go find some hormones, baby. Our rubbish but we've got a nice nice lady crab there i'm gonna get a bit of seaweed in the bucket to keep it alive and now we're on a mission it's an all-out fest for the lobsters and ormers with lady crabs it's always good just to get a handful of wet seaweed because they die quite quickly and we're going to be foraging for a while today and then we're going to have a nice cook up on the beach Hell yeah. We're just mooching our way through. We're looking in all the crevices, the little cracks in the rocks, especially when you're ormering. Never disregard all the cracks in the rocks. You'll find loads in there. Pie cross crab. I don't know the Latin name for it. That was in a lobster hole. I'm not gonna eat any of these today. We're just searching around. You see inside there, there's a big hole where it's clean. 
that's what you're looking for for lobsters is clean holes and hopefully we can find one we're not looking for a lot of warmers we only want three or four just for the for the foraging video we don't really like taking a lot of something hey sam yeah, to try and keep the species alive and all that a lot of people get warmers and sell them but i'm not interested in that as long as got the video i don't care <laughs> nice to find the lobster but as the tide goes down it's going to go right out yet we might find one then it's an absolutely beautiful day compared to what we've had it's crazy it's always good practice to turn your stones back over guys this place has been hammered but there's stones that they've missed for sure hell yeah little flatfish it's called a top knot. Cool looking little things. <laughs> it's old smashed up crab pot that's in the rocks. It had a massive cork wing rat. I've never seen one so big before. <laughs> Absolute giant. Yeah, it's completely gone that crab pot. No good for us. We're trying to find almonds and lobsters, baby. As you can see, we're in a huge gully. Woo. Just here looking around, found an undersized orma there and check that for a lady crab. But it's pregnant so we're going to throw him back, we don't keep pregnant stuff. The little orma there, I'm going to flip the rock back now. And hopefully we can find a decent one. We're having a right old laugh, eh mate? Yeah, Hell yeah. There's a small one there, small little porcelain crab. We're finding a lot of small ones around here. What's this, the third day of the Orma Tide, sir? Uh, I think it's the second. Yeah, so the place has been hammered, but hopefully we can find a few. We're not in the best spots in the island because we want to go get some razors and that after, so we've come close, we only want a few. Hell yeah, look at that. In by about a centimetre. That's ideal, that. Another one for the cook pot. There's a lot of lobster holes around here, so we're just taking our time, whittling through. You can see how clear that water is. It's amazing, if only we had the snorkel and mask. Got a lobster in this hole here, guys. Cut my hand up trying to get him. It was not easy. Boom, <laughs> little baby lobster right there. That's not, that's not as big as we want, but we finally got one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Check that out, guys. Oop. But yeah, that's too small for us. We want one a lot bigger than that. Take this one down to the water's edge. Whoop. One last glance, nice little one. We, we want one a little bit bigger than that. And off he goes, straight back down to the depth. <laughs> First keeper of the day, guys. Just about in. Woo! We're definitely working for these today, that's for sure. That's why it's always good to check the cracks. Oh, this is a decent one. There we go. Oh, that's a whopper as well. That one hasn't been found. The size of that. That's more what we wanted, guys. Woo! Hands bloody feeling it, but we got some food, baby. Coastal foraging. And that's what. I was saying about always checking the cracks and under the rocks and stuff because you'd be so surprised how many you will find just under big rocks or just in the cracks of the rocks hell yeah just a little tip guys we're on a mission baby cool looking anemones these are snake locking enemies guys a subscriber got in contact me with me from the last video when I said they were Delia but they weren't these are snake lock. The Delia anemones are 
a lot bigger apparently he gave me a very detailed description of them as well so thank you to whoever that was i've forgotten your name i apologize but your information was dearly noted thank you very much that one's in sam's found the honey hole racking up the ormers now i'll chop those in with the weed mate yeah Keep yeah so we're up to our four warmers now. We're going to have a little look around. If we find any bigger ones, we'll probably give them to the chap next to us. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hopefully we can find the lobster. Yeah, well, I struggled there. There's loads of warmers there, guys. Look, one, two, three, four, two keepers. Just got to pop them off. There you go, mate. Yeah, yeah, we only wanted the four. Okay, cheers. Happy days, mate. Cool. That's doing well now. We found a little hot spot full of ormers. Gonna uh, carry on lifting some of these really big rocks. Hopefully we can pop out a lobster. Whoop. If I don't fall and break my ass. Oh, just under. That's a shame. Another ormer. I'm finding loads of ormers. A lot of small ones, though. And, yeah, what's that? A little flatty. Yeah. That's a little common top knot. Wanna to hold that up for the folks a bit? Check that out guys. Beautiful little things they are. Is it? Bloody hell. Well, apparently they're quite nice when they hit quite a bigger size. Nice. And Sam got his little lobster. That's a right old little prawn on that one. Yeah. Cool though man. Hell yeah. Back to his home now, guys. Go on, little dude. Off you go. <laughs> Sam's got a couple nice ones here. This little pool's packed with them, eh? Oh, look at those. Those are jambalayas, man. Those are real ormers right there, guys. Check that out. Some lovely ones, mate. That old geezer's got to be happy with this one. <laughs> yeah. Nice. As you can see, there's loads for the future around here, guys. Absolute. There's just tons, eh? Yeah. So we're struggling a bit because we were looking for the lobsters more than anything. Then we just found a little bit full of them. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, eh? Yeah. Uh, we don't mind helping you out, mate. Oh, is it? Uh, it's got to be a bit careful, eh, dude? <laughs> yeah. We're just going to sort through our warmers now, guys, and then we're going to give the chap a few. And then we're off to go get some razors and clams, baby. We just want the biggest ones. So we've got our ladies. Oh, we'll put them back in there. Another lady. Half dead, but they're good to eat. And then... We got some jumbo sized ormers here. There's another one there. Another one's there. Yeah. We're just gonna we're gonna pick four or five of the biggest ones, and then the chap next to us can have the rest. Just gonna grab the biggest ones there, guys. You see those two, three, four. That's two each for me and Sam, because with all the razors and that, we're gonna get full up, and we don't sell them or anything. Uh, so there you go, mate. I'll chuck those in your bag, all right? Okay, There's another two up there. Is it? Yeah, just under one of these. That's why I'm always cautious chucking my hands in the holes. <laughs> There's two more there, guys. Hell yeah. There you go, mate. Yeah, yeah, Five you. almost. Yeah, Happy days. All right, stay tuned, guys. We're going to bust off now. We're going to go find the razors and the clams. And we're going to go get on the beach and start cooking some up. <laughs> the spot we were sorting them out and Sam pulls one out with the hook. That's why it's always good to check all the cracks in the rocks, guys. Check that one. Absolute fatty. Yeah, mate, another one for you. <laughs> 
lovely job, mate. Yeah. Happy days. Right, let's go, mate. Otherwise, we're going to end up here all day. <laughs> that is a real top knot, that. Bloody hell. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to catch and cook this. We're going to fry it up in the frying pan. That's too good to waste right there. Do you want to put some water in your bucket, mate? So we've got a bit of top knot for lunch as well. That's well in this legal size limit, that. I haven't seen one that big in a long time. Just got a bottle full of salt. And then I just fill it up. Got loads of water in it. This is all the old stuff from the last video. You want a really salty solution. And then you pour it in the holes. Because the beach is so dried out, we want we want the salt to go right down the holes. Sam's sitting there a few at the moment. That's what you're looking for. That's a perfect representation of a razor hole, guys. All we do is get your salty solution. As you can see, there is loads here. We've got we got clams squirting everywhere. And as you can see, it's caving in. And then the razors will come up. Oh, that one went in. That could be that could be a clam. That you'll notice if it starts squirting out with loads of water. And that's where uh, the the uh, gaper clams will be. What you do is just grab it. There you go. First one down. Just walking around, you'll you'll see uh, squirty holes where the. Uh, Clams are just shooting up. Oh, look at that. That's quite active, that one. Come on. Venus clam. Oh, it's a keeper as well. Nice big one. Oh, Venus clam here, Sam. Hell yeah. Look at the size of some of these winkles on the beach here, guys. Look at that. That is gigantic. So we're going to collect a few of these now. These are jumbo eh? Yeah, massive. Massive. A Venus clam there, guys. All I'm doing is just literally walking along, and they're just sitting on the surface. So pop a few shells, make sure there's no jumbo ones sitting there. This is such good fun, just walking along the beach, gathering up loads of food. That's what it's all about, baby. <laughs> it's one of the holes we salted before. Ah, yeah. Sam pulls him out. That's a nice one, that. Yeah. Good eater, that. We're running out of uh, salt now. So I'm just gonna, there's a razor up there, I can see it. There we go. Just digging them out of our hands. You see him down there, mate? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Check that for a Venus clown, guys. That's a beauty. The razors ain't coming up very well with the salt at the moment. We're only getting a couple. So we're gonna keep an eye on the holes we've already done and dig some out of our hands. That's a cracker of a Venus clown. Sam getting one out of his hands. It's easily done. You just dig down, keep fanning it. You'll find the top of it. You can slowly just pull them out. There's another one here from the salt. Look at that. Not enough for our coastal foraging cook up now, guys. We're going to head to the spot and start cooking them up. We're going to prep the ormers and show you how it's done, baby. Can't wait. Bloody hungry. Just one more for luck. <laughs> As you can see, we had a good old haul here. We've got one. Ooh. I would let that one go. A little bit small for what we wanted. Got two. Lady crabs. We got more razors than we thought we would, eh, mate? Yeah. What's that? We got about about ten razors. That's why we got the garlic butter. Look at that. Check that out, guys. And we got our top knot. Lovely sized top knot. That. So I'm going to put him out of his misery. There you go. He's gone. And I'm going to cut all of his guts out, just like so. Basically, taking the head off. Job, get the blood out, get 
any sort of slimy fish, if you rub it on the sand, it would take all the grit off, get it washed off. There you go. Nice slab of meat there, lovely and white. Then we got our Venus clams. Absolute big ones, those ones, eh, mate? Yeah, nice size. Get those rinsed off. Then we got our winkles. We're only going to keep the monster ones. Most of these are gigantic, absolutely huge. We only want a few to eat, so the rest we'll put over there in the weed so they can feed on that. Look at that. Do you have a little close up there, Sam? Absolutely beautiful. So that's it on that style. As you can see, there's a good feed in there, that's for sure. Get rid of that, get rid of the rest of these, put them in the weed where they belong. And now for the Ormers. When they decide to stop sticking, get rid of all the rubbish. There we go. And with the Ormers, what we're doing, just gonna get the knife underneath the shell, scrape it around a little bit, Try not to cut yourself, because you will end up with a hole in the hand, just like so. Get your knife, cut the mouth out like a V. Beautiful. All we're doing, because we're on the beach, get in the sand, get all the slime off. what we want we're not going to be too fussy just like so and we'll show you how we're going to prep the rest of it after there we go we're going to get the rest done now guys we're going to get up the beach get the cookers out snotty nose and go eat something baby Woo! Perfect little table. There's our ingredients. We've got a bit of oil, black pepper, Guernsey butter, some flour, and salt. And what we're going to do is just get on to prepping all the uh, ormas first. And we'll show you how we're going to cook it all up. We've got the big pot and the frying pan, and we've got the common top knot. This looks really nice meat. You got them, but on the beach, you get two stones and just beat them. You want to tenderize them, especially around the edges. Just get your stone. Try not to bash your finger too much. Just like so. You can see, pancaked, lovely. I'm gonna to get to it now, get the rest done. And we'll show you the next step of how we're gonna prep them. Then, a bit of flour. I apologise for the traffic noise, but this is the best spot we could get at the moment. And then, a bit of sea salt. Put that right up in the mix. And then, a bit of black pepper. Not too much. That's beautiful. And then, get it all mixed around, make a mess. It doesn't matter, we're on the beach. And all you're doing is putting your ormers in there. As you can see by the little slow-mo, we had one that popped over. It's actually on the floor, so we're not eating that one. And all you're doing is just, just drying them out with the sand. Beautiful. And that's the ormers ready to go. And all we're going to do now is get the pans on, get, the, get them on the heat, and get a sauce ready for all the cooking of the clams, baby. Woo! All we're doing for the clams in the big pot we're gonna have clams we're gonna have the uh, lady crabs and they're all gonna be steamed so what you do nice chunk of Guernsey butter just like so we're gonna put this on the heat afterwards I'd recommend putting them on the heat at first if you're at home so a big knob of butter and then a little bit of water to create the steam and then you get your garlic. That's it, a couple of garlic cloves. And then all what this will do is, all of your clams and crabs and all that sort of stuff, I'm 
sorry I'm squinting, I got the sun in my eyes. All the clams and stuff will just get steamed in all of the juices, all of the scent of this. And I can tell by Sam's face, he's really looking forward to it. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we're gonna get this all chopped up, get it in the pan. We're gonna get it on the heat and get cooking guys. Stay tuned. Just show you how we're going to start frying up the ormers and the uh, top knot. I reckon that's going to taste amazing. Flatty is really good. Place and sole, absolutely delicious. As you can see, if you want to check down there, Sam, we're making a little broth with all the uh, garlic, the butter, and the water. You see the steam coming out, and that's what the clams and everything's going to be cooking in. Ooh, so, what we do for the frying pan is get it on the heat, get it all cooking up. I'm going to get a knob of butter in and show you the next step, guys. Just going to get another knob of butter. I recommend if you're cooking on the beach, try and get as little sand in everything as you can. And don't need that much butter. Just a knob like that. Let that start sizzling down. And that's all you need to cook the food. And then to stop your, uh, I want to I want to thank Scott, a, a subscriber, for telling me this. Is to stop your butter burning is put a little drop of oil, and that really works. So thank you for that tip. He's a chef that watches the channel, and he's always giving me heads up on things to do next time. So highly appreciate it. We're going to get all the uh, all the stuff in the steam pan. Just while the frying pan's heating up, you see we got our lady crabs. They go in. Got good load of razor clams there. They go in as well. And then what we got is our Venus clams, our giant winkles, and all the rest of it. Get the rest in there. Give it a little shake around. And let it cook, baby. Oh, it's smelling good. Now for the Ormus, guys. Our frying pan's heated up nicely. Just give them a little tap off and get them in the frying pan. We're gonna have a lot of food here. So we didn't wanna just smash the bay and get as much as we can. That's why we gave a lot to the old guy. What did we give him, seven in the end? Yeah, about that. Seven nice ormers he had there. So if he, if he watches the channel, then good on you guy. I hope you had a uh, good feast and I hope your back's better. So that's the ormers cooking in there nicely. And then when they start getting a little bit more done, we'll add the top knot. We've got the lid back on the... Uh, steam pot, let everything cook really nicely through. The crabs take about 10-15 minutes. The ormers are nearly nearly ready one side. So what we're going to do now is add our top knot. I reckon this is going to taste really nice this. So what I'm going to do is the tough skin side, we're going to put that down and we're just going to fry it guys. You can see it start coming up like that. This, this won't take long at all. Just about to start taking everything out now. You can see everything's nice and crisp stock. Check them out. That looks amazing. We're gonna get set up now, guys. Got some dog walkers coming, so they might want a bit. <laughs> you looking forward to it, mate? I'm starving. I'm very much looking forward to it. Hell yeah. So we're gonna get all this stuff packed up. We're gonna get ready and start eating, baby. Just gonna get the flatty and the yormas. Check that out. That looks absolutely delicious. Ah, not the outside. Oh, <laughs> there's the almonds. Nice and crispy, guys. As you can see, nicely golden brown. 
That's what we want. Just gonna get these on the rock. Do you wanna open that, dude? That looks sick, eh? It smells amazing. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. So fresh. This smells absolutely delicious. The size of these Venus clams, they're absolute chunks. You can see the meat inside. You get a good chunk of meat in that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Hard to get. Oh yeah. Nice, fresh almost, straight off the beach. You can't, you can't beat that. Tender as anything. I got speechless. Yeah, literally. In the juice as well. Garlic butter goes with everything, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Haven't had these for a while. You almost are the best, man. Oh, that's so good. If you ever get a chance to do this, guys, even come to Guernsey and I'll take you with me. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. See, we've got a lady crabs there. We've got some nice big razor fish. And we already know these taste good from the other catch and cooks or foraging. Mm. Amazing. I think cook the, uh, maybe put the razors in a little bit less. They're still tender. There's a little chew to them, but nothing much. Absolutely delicious, guys. Oh, can't get enough. <laughs> Looks like the seagulls want a bit. There'll probably be some left over. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at the white meat on that. Check that out, guys. How flaky that is. There you go, mate. Try a bit of that bad boy. <laughs> oh. Take off, oh yeah. This falls to pieces. It's a bit like wrasse, it's a bit mushy. It's not the best tasting fish in the world, guys. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too keen. Excuse me, but it's a bit mushy. It's got a nice flavor to it, but that reminds me of wrasse. It's not much of a flavour though. It's a, yeah, it's just a, it's, it is a fishy taste, yeah. but it's just mush. Yeah. Oh, the fins are better. I'll stick to like that. Ones. It's like a crisp. <laughs> Surprisingly good. That does taste good. Yeah. Right guys, we're not gonna uh, tease you anymore. <laughs> we're gonna finish our meal now. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is this is something we're going to do a lot of. Like I said last time, it'll be once a month we'll be getting into this. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, it's at the Guernsey Angler. Trying to grow that at the moment, eh, dude? Yeah, it's going well. Lots of good pictures. If you like my channel, like and subscribe, guys. There'll be plenty more to come. It's smash fishing. Got to show you the winkles guys all you're doing is getting it right dig your fork right in and just spin it round and there you go absolutely delicious these are we've just been eating them eh Sam? yeah they're nice oh yeah definitely go for the giant ones they're absolutely gorgeous